Over in Callahan Cl County, Clyde CISD speaking out to K-Texas tonight about why they changed their grooming and dress code policy for students. The story got national attention last December after high school senior Trevor Wilkinson refused to take off his nail polish and was put on in-school suspension. K-Texas reporter John Rapolo has more on this story tonight. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, this is what I wanted all along and this is what I've been fighting for. Clyde High School I senior Trevor Wilkinson happy. thrilled every student in the district. Okay, they're flames. Can now wear makeup and nail polish and piercings and not be restricted to do so because of gender. The former grooming policy restricted male students from wearing certain things that females were allowed to wear. Trevor spoke up and said the policy was discriminatory. Oh yes, I was bawling my eyes out. Because Last fall, Wilkinson spoke to Kate Texas after he was put in in-school suspension for wearing nail polish to school. He posted on social media images like this, and soon the story went national, even appearing on Good Morning America. The ACLU sent the district a letter saying their grooming policy was unconstitutional and discriminatory. Sorry, what is your sir. comment about this policy? Oh, sir, this well, the question was asked, and I think it deserves an answer. Clyde ISD refused to publicly discuss their grooming policy. Wilkinson and others spoke at a school board meeting last December to change that policy. Monday night, that happened. Well, the fact of the matter is, Mr. Superintendent, this never would have been done if it wasn't for Trevor Wilkinson, right? That's right. Trevor brought those concerns to us, absolutely. Tuesday, we spoke to Clyde ISD Superintendent Ken Berry. The school board Monday night voted to implement a gender-neutral dress code after they say they formed a committee to discuss it. If it made our dress code or a revised dress code and it's a violation of our dress code, it's, it's about the item rather than it being assigned to any, any um, specific gender. It is gender-neutral. Wilkinson says he's going to continue to try and change other school districts' grooming and dress code policies. Schools around here will get the memo and they will be taking steps towards the right direction of history. John Rapolo, K Texas News.